Welcome to Crypto Live. In this video, what's the truth behind the prediction that XRP will go $500 and why Kathy Wood is literally telling us to buy XRP? So don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on our upcoming videos about cryptocurrencies. It would be great if you could share this video to your friends and family members so that they can get updated too. With regard to the United States government, Ripple is rapidly becoming the most prominent cryptocurrency. In fact, Congressman Warren Davidson, a Republican from Ohio, explains why he thinks regulatory clarity is paramount at the moment. He also mentions Ripple in his interview and mentions Gary Gensler. And this is because Joe Biden is meeting yesterday with Janet Yellen and Gary Gensler, as well as other supervisors and regulators to discuss issues related to the financial sector. Therefore, I'll tell you what Representative Warren Davis actually said and what his thoughts were about Ripple and the case versus the SEC. Additionally, Mark Cuban was rugged. Well, he actually wasn't rugged, but it was unmistakably in the news. He did lose a lot of face, however, since he was just pumping some stuff on Twitter a few weeks ago. In the past months, there has been a lot of FUD in the media, which is a lot of fear, uncertainty, and doubt being spread by the media in particular about Bitcoin and its energy use. There's also Kathy Wood, who's quickly gaining a reputation as a very insightful investor, particularly in the area of crypto investing, and has made some spot-on calls recently. This is actually the first time that they've spoken out and given their five-year estimate of what the cryptocurrency industry will be worth. That's what I'm going to share with you, but I want to share what somebody just said based on the current cycle and based on where XRP is actually at the moment, what they think it'll be worth by then. Okay, well let's get to it. In this case, I'll directly discuss the increasing concern being expressed by the United States government regarding crypto regulation. Crypto is being discussed more and more by financial regulatory bodies, and even more members of Congress and senators are beginning to touch upon it. It's interesting that it divides along party lines, but it is very polarizing. And it's like, Democratic lawmakers are pro-crypto. There are Democratic lawmakers who are vehemently opposed to crypto. There are Republican lawmakers who are for crypto, and there are Republican lawmakers who oppose it. And now, it's a situation where either they get it or they don't. Representative Warren Davidson, who represents Ohio, recently talked about Joe Biden's upcoming meetings with Janet Yellen, Gary Gensler, and other regulators in an interview he gave in June this year. Furthermore, he emphasized that the government should give regulatory clarity, specifically to the financial sector, which is essential. In fact, XRP has been mentioned by him, specifically the Ripple case against the SEC, and the fact that it is a security. It sounded as if, in his opinion, there was little security with XRP since there was a substantial firewall between XRP and Ripple. Added that, a simple ownership of XRP does not imply ownership of Ripple. Also, he specifically mentioned Gary Gensler in this and said he even taught a crypto class and has talked about things like this. In other words, there's no reason regulatory clarity shouldn't be a top priority. What's interesting is that there is this article that talks about how much money the SEC has gotten from going after cryptocurrency companies and basically just suing them. It sounds like by just suing cryptocurrency companies, the United States government generates a large amount of revenue outside of taxes by going after them. On the one hand, you want some regulatory clarity, and on the other hand, everything is going well with the SEC, and just going after and suing people is like making an enormous amount of money. Also, they might not earn as much if they enacted a framework. It is kind of a conspiratorial viewpoint, but it is always interesting to consider. What do you think about it? Let us know your thoughts by leaving some comments below. In this case, we should keep an eye on this new round of meetings and events with Joe Biden, the SEC, Janet Yellen, and the other financial regulators. If they mention fintech, you should specifically pay attention, since that's where most of the regulations will occur. And perhaps Mark Cuban wouldn't have lost all his money if there was some sort of clarity in the regulatory environment. For those who have never heard of Titan, Mark Cuban actually pumped it last June. Due to some kind of strange vortex of cryptocurrencies, he actually pumped it for a couple of weeks. As a result, when a sell-off started, the price of these Titan coins started spiraling downwards. Moreover, China has reaffirmed that cryptocurrencies remain banned. Several central banks now forbid anything relating to cryptocurrencies. No settlements, no transfers, and no transactions relating to cryptocurrencies. 
Furthermore, they told Bitcoin miners to shut down or leave the country. According to the technical side of things, there are some websites that plot all Bitcoin hash rates, which is basically how much Bitcoin mining is taking place. And at the moment, it's at its lowest point for nearly three years. So how is that going to affect Bitcoin prices? What is so amazing about all the bad news? Even with the death cross in China, despite the drops in hash rates, Bitcoin actually was up 3.01% last August 16th at 9.07 UTC. How is that possible? The fear of missing out or FOMO is one theory that might be gaining momentum. With the hash rate being lower and the scarcity of Bitcoin increasing, there is less and less Bitcoin entering the market that some are actually thinking that the low, or the low point, is actually here now. Despite what some people had predicted a few months ago, it will not drop to 28, 22, 17, or 12,000 as predicted. In fact, Plan B, a Twitter user who created a stock-to-flow model, still forecasts over $100,000 in Bitcoin by the end of 2021. Afterwards, Kathy Wood of ARK Invest and her group of analysts announced what their view on Bitcoin is going to be over the next five years. They usually study things in terms of about five years, and they predict that Bitcoin and the crypto sector will be somewhere around 5 to $10 trillion in the next five years. The flow model set predicts a lot more than that, so that doesn't actually follow the stock and flow model. Still, a lot of people pay attention when Kathy Wood or one of her analysts speaks. This will be an interesting prediction to watch. Although they do not have a holding of Bitcoin similar to Michael Saylor, they are certainly a company to pay attention to and what they actually do with their crypto holdings. For record, XRP lost 63% of its value in 2017 during a Bitcoin bull run, but then recovered 15,000% within four weeks. And in this cycle, XRP just started gaining momentum in the past weeks following its recent price drop. So is there a real possibility of a 1,500-point gain over the next four weeks? Well, if we do, we'd have $10 of XRP. A Twitter user actually predicted those two bull runs by charting them and analyzing them, so keep that in mind. As of right now, there are no big developments regarding the SEC and Ripple case, but I expect some big news to emerge in the coming days that will be in favor of Ripple. Now, are we going to see $500 for XRP? As you can see, even Kathy Wood has not directly mentioned XRP to buy as its price will rocket exponentially. However, her team has a positive opinion about Bitcoin and the entire crypto market in the future. Additionally, as I mentioned a while ago, XRP also gained 15,000% during Bitcoin's bull run of 2017. So did you see how it made sense? That's all for this video about crypto, and thank you for watching. If you would like to receive updates on the crypto market, make sure you click the subscribe and bell button. Also, remember to share this information with your friends and family members so that they can get well-informed and gain some valuable insight about XRP.